commercial tracks you're doing. A brother gotta eat. Jam, won't you rap for food then? This is Cody and uh, I'll be showing you how to take the life cam cinema this original 10 frames per second and actually making it 30 frames. Alright, so this is the original quality and now I'll be showing you the 30 frames per second that you get. Alright, so now I'm capturing at 30 frames per second. As you can see it's a lot smoother and uh, even clearer. Wait, one more thing you're gonna need uh, for this uh, to actually do this is to take out the original program you get with it. I think uh, I don't even know what it was, but you, you should know if you have the Microsoft Life Cam or uh, Cinema or any other one, you should know the program. I just don't know at the top of my head. All right, peace. Now, now watch the video. All right, so the first thing you have to do is uh, you have to go download Virtual Dub if you don't have it. All right, so you just go. Sorry. Shit. Virtual dub. Uh, this program is free. You don't have to pay for it. Uh, so you, I'm not gonna bother showing because I need for time's sake. But the reason I'm doing this tutorial is because I haven't found any tutorials and it took took me a while to figure out how to do this because uh, it's not really self-explanatory. All right, so I got virtual dub already. You open virtual dub and. Uh, uh, you go capture AVI. So uh, usually uh, you have to s first of all you have to set a uh, custom format. I set mine to twelve eighty by seven twenty because that's what my webcam, that's what the HD live cam is capable of. So uh, all right, so yeah, I got that set up. Now uh, the one thing you have to do to actually get it is go to capture pin. And here uh, you'll see it, it'll be default as, as a YUI2 format. Uh, you ha the frame rate will be 10, and uh, it, it, the quality is shitty. So you have to you have to turn it to M MJPEG, and uh, yeah, 1280 by 720. You go apply, and uh, it should work. Now uh, you can go rec you can go retor record. Okay, so there's one le drawback to this though is that uh the files you you cannot use any compressors on uh virtual dub, so you have to use uh, another program to compress it like uh what I use uh to compress it is uh pinnacle studios or because you can't use a lossless codec on uh on virtual dub because of the change settings or that I know if I'm not too sure. All right, thanks for watching. Mr. Kendall, see uh subs comment rate and subscribe.